Hey, it's Nikachu. In this video, we're gonna look at a Magic player that drove 500 miles to a Magic the Gathering tournament and then gets destroyed in two turns. Introducing our protagonist, Quint Stevenson, who drove for over seven hours from Kansas City to the Star City Games Open in Indianapolis. Quint is the player who, yeah, he came over from Kansas City to play in this tournament. Was worried that he didn't register in time, mm -hmm. got capped out. Yep. Ah uh, yes, the all-day drive to reach the Magic the Gathering tournament. Only the most hardcore geeks, dorks, and nerds will understand. I would know because I'm one of them. And hey, if Quint's gonna make the long trip to go play some Magic, he's gonna hope to have a good time. But for everyone who's trying to have fun, there must be a fun police. Introducing our antagonist, David Danowitz. He's playing a glass cannon deck, which in theory should be garbage. However, when all the stars line up, you'll be dead in one shot. Let's go take a look at the action. He got here at 7 a.m. Yep. I, like, 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 it's, uh, like it's Black Friday. <laughs> Outside the convention center waiting for it to open. Got on the waiting list, crossed his fingers. He got into the tournament and he said, I thought about playing Death Shadow, gonna play Murphle because I know it well. And here we go. Stevenson starts the game off with Ether Vial. This is an artifact that helps you deploy creatures onto the battlefield. Now these creatures are going to be merfolk. The strategy features lords, which when they're on the battlefield, give each other merfolk you control plus one plus one. So the more lords you have in play, the stronger your entire army gets. And the whole deck is in blue, which is famous for drawing extra cards, being able to use counter spells, and taking extra turns. But everyone has a weak spot, just like that bandaged belly guy from Punch-Out. You see, blue can do everything except one. They can't destroy creatures. And I, I have to assume this matchup is not very good here for Stevenson. I don't he, think so. He has no interaction. I, I know it's Merfolk, but there's no counter spells in the main deck here. And uh, if, if Danwitz has the draw, it might just happen now. Yeah. Uh, retract number five is their SRAM. So if, uh, if Quint didn't know what he was playing against before, he sure does now. Yep. Danowitz has revealed his all-in strategy. His deck plays both SRAM Senior Edificer and Pure Steel Paladin. Both creatures have this ability where if you play an equipment, you get to draw a card. But what equipment will this deck use to win the game? Maybe Sword of Fire and Ice, give the creature plus two plus two? Pro red, pro blue, draw cards, deal damage? No wait, maybe Sword of Vengeance? First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, and Haste? No, must think bigger. Maybe Argentum Armor? Give the creature plus six plus six, attack, and destroy target permanent! This deck features none of those cards. Let's see how Danowitz plans to win. And it's not good news. Oh, getting a storm counter. Are we going now? Oh, yeah, he's going now. All right. Draw a card. So I said that the deck mulligans really poorly mm -hmm. because, you know, the, of so much of the draws being dead ends. Part of the reason the draws are, a lot of the draws are dead ends is because you play with so many zeros. David Danowitz plays Kite Shield. Equipped creature gets plus zero, plus three. It's zero mana, what do you expect? You got what you paid for. And the million dollar question all of you at home must be asking, how does he win with that? And the answer is, he doesn't. This equipment has one job and one job only, and that is to draw cards for zero mana. The deck is actually nicknamed Cheerios because it's loaded with these zero mana equipment, but it's SRAM that's gonna eat you for breakfast. What that means is when you do have the draw, you can often just go yep. because it's so likely you just keep the ball rolling the whole time. Draw a card. Uh, that's the kite shield, I Don't think. worry about it. Don't worry about what the name is. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a quarter shield, bone saw, kite shield, and uh, spider silk net, paradise mantle also. Um, it's, yeah, whatever. Here's it's retract. All, if they didn't have text box, it would, it would play the same way. <laughs> so David plays a Mox Opal to add a blue mana in order to cast his retract, which says, return all artifacts you control to their owner's hands. All of David's equipment go boing, and each one represents another card that he can draw off the top of his deck. And that gets him one card closer to this deck's true win condition. Which one are you? I think that's Cathar Shield. Yeah, sure. Ah, there's the Kite Shield. Yes, I got it right! Yes, Cathar Shield! Another Kite Shield, draw another card. 
Immune Spirit Guide, very fair card. Noxious Revival. Get the you get the retrace back on top, retract back on top of your deck. Mm -hmm. Draw it with your zeros. Ah, yes, there's another Bone Saw. Bone Saw's ready. A Ben was favorite, I believe. Yeah, and a, and, a me, and a me favorite too. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Paradise Mantle. Draw. Ah, uh, there's a Mox. Doesn't draw off the Mox, but this is again just a way to make mana. Pick yep. all that up. Blah blah blah. Six, twelve, fifteen. Yeah, he's just no, dead. He's this turn. dead. He's just it's dead. Yeah. Not this is not close. He's gonna yeah, draw he's his whole deck if dead. he wants to. Dude, sweet. You played a you played an island in a vial and then you died. Yeah. Well, David's having the time of his life. Quint is throwing up in his mouth a little. They ask Quint to keep count of Storm, which is how many spells have been played in a turn. And in Magic the Gathering, that is not a good sign. He must be thinking, I traveled 500 miles for this? He knows this is a glass cannon deck because after all, all you have to do is kill the SRAM and the rest of the deck does nothing. It's like the charging bull from Punch-Out. If you get him at just the right time, it's all over. But if you miss that opportunity, you're dead. Totally fine. Here's a Mox. That's a Spirit Guide. That's a Grape Shot for 2,000. Cool! So how does this deck actually win? Grape Shot. Grape Shot deals one damage to target creature or player, but it's got Storm. When you play this spell, copy it for each spell played before it this turn. Then it would play 26 spells that turn, so deal 26 damage. But that was only game one. Quint has a chance for revenge in game two. I always found that Little Max Trainer gave either vague or useless advice. So I'll continue the tradition for Stevenson. All right, champ. I played Merfolk my entire life. I know this matchup inside and out. You're f I never beat that Cheerios deck, and neither will you. See you in the X2 bracket, champ. That, that the body language here not engendering a lot of confidence. All right. I think this. Oh no, he's got no play. He has no play. I've enjoyed every part of this match so far. He'll pass. This. If you are bothered by watching this, you and I are different people. Yeah, this is. So game two doesn't go Quint's way either. He keeps a no land hand on the play and passes the turn doing nothing against a deck that can win on turn two. Are you sure about that? This is the highest level of frustration on one side of the table and the other person I don't think could be happier. Looks like Stevenson has brought in the C's claim. Man, he's gotta and, uh, get, he's gotta get so lucky to win. No counter spells, not much in the way of creature interaction, no Chalice of the Void. Bone saw off the top. Here's Steam Vents. Yeah, he does I mean he doesn't yes. the, thing is, the thing is he doesn't have to try to go off this turn. No, he he might be able to win this game by just putting bones on SRAM and getting busy next turn. That's true. Doesn't have to go off. Oh. And Danowitz gets right back to business. I mean, if this deck does this every round, it's never going to lose. A lot of combo decks look good against zero lands. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Have any of you ever been in Quinn's position? You drive hours to a Magic the Gathering tournament, and then you just get killed off in like two turns. Where's the fun in that? I think it just has to be impossible for, for Danowitz to not be able to win from this spot. Yes! Where's that red card? Ba-boom. This entire match, Quint just played one island and ether vial, and he died. Put you out of your misery. Two turn, two kills. That's totally fine. Totally fine in modern. Totally fine. Do you like all-in strategies, or do you hate them? Let us all know in the comments section below. Smash like for the one-two punch, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, or SRAM's gonna eat fish with his Cheerios.